And we are back. Pokemon White 2 Hardcore Nuzlocke. The run continues. Uh, I was trying to clean up the town of the Dragon Gym afterwards, and I beat all of the grunts no problem. And for some reason, I did not prepare one or two extra Pokemon for this um, this battle where he throws at three cryo cryogonals here, and they're super fast, terrible physical defense, but really good special defense and special attack. And I have got myself into a predicament where <laughs> I do believe I'm going to lose at least one Pokemon. Um, Sandslash and the deer here are super effective to Ice Beam and probably going to get one shot. I tried to mitigate the damage with the Swan, didn't happen, and almost lost the coffin in the, the process. Um, our UFO here was able to take out the first one and get all that damage on the second one, but... Um, I do believe we're about to lose the Scorpion, so I figured I would just record this, and um, yeah, on top of that, I switched into Drapion, and it got frozen from the Ice Beam, so really bad luck there, and we have lost Drapion. Um, wow, so I have the animations off too, since I was trying to get through it quicker here, and oh god, dude, if I lose, I, this might be a sweep, actually. This might be GG. Nobody is faster than the Cryo either. Uh, I think this is the only shot we got. And then potentially uh, we have to live somehow. He's got to basically burn. Um, yeah, it's over. Okay, that was really good. No freeze. Okay, so, so we are dead to crit. Okay. We are dead to crit from the next one. Oh my god, it's a Weavile. It's not three Cryos. So Weavile is definitely faster. It's also not very effective. Oh my god, if I lose... The thing is, like... Weavile can hit all of them for super effective. And it will go first, so it basically... Someone has to tank too, and nobody can except for the Magnezone potentially. But if he uses Light Night Slash, I'll probably die. Oh, I think we have to all in. I think what I have to do is go for a full blown paralysis. Because if my Steel type move doesn't one shot and then it kills, it outspeeds all of my Pokemon and then can potentially sweep. So I think I go all in on the paralysis, hope that I don't die. Volt switch. Mm. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, I could volt switch into the swan. And mm. Well, if it uses dark type moves, then I can swap. But if it uses ice type, but there is no really big physical ice type move. So if I do paralyze, I should be able to swap into the ground or the grass type. Okay. All in. I have to live. Just live, buddy. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, that did no damage. Yes, I'm freaking out. Okay, we're good. And we should be fine. I'm going to Volt Switch. Get the UFO out of here. Massive damage. Beautiful. And then... Oh, God. I could swap into Sandslash, who's going to be faster because of the paralysis. Um, can eat a Night Slash, no problem, and then hopefully can tank one Ice-type move. Please. Yes, it's paralyzed. This is so good. Please, Sandslash, one Earthquake to rule them all. Ice Shard, you have to live this. Don't crit. Okay. We lost Drapion. We absolutely lost Drapion, and I cannot believe that this is my third attempt, and I still failed to prepare for Zinzolin. This guy right here always has the ice types. Oh my, I completely underestimated him. I think I just had my Embor the other times, and I was just like easily sweeping through with my fire type. Did not have that this time. He's in the PC. So... Terrible planning. I think I uh, got a little bit comfortable after that gym battle, but a little exclusive video here. Death count is now two. Uh, really was excited about Drapion. That was the first time I got to use him, but thank goodness that was the only casualty. I think we'll be okay. 
And um, I'm going to try really hard to rebound after that. As always, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And I will get you on the flip. Peace.